You are live. That's awesome. Oh, I just realized I forgot to put another camera. Ah, let me do that right away. Hey, thank you. Yeah, hey, I'm glad you like it. Let me uh, show you another one. Okay, this is another one. If I touch it, it should say something. There you go. What's up? It's really cute. So another one, I have like a, this one, I'm not sure. So lovely. <laughs> I love it too. It's so cute. Thank you for your support, I appreciate it. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Appreciate it. How are you? Chatable, Worry? Hello. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Actually, I need to set up another camera. <laughs> so today is my day three of making Elsa dress. Hello. Hey, Carlos. Hello. And I just realized I have one more camera to set up. Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. Shout out guys. Be sure to place your name in the chat box so everyone can connect. So I'm gonna set up another camera and this is gonna be close up. You guys are awesome. Let me give you another awesome effect. Wait, this one, I think that's the same one. Thank you so much. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for, hey, Togo. Hey, guys. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy you guys are here. I'm really happy. I'm almost crying. Oh, thank you so much for being here, guys. You guys are amazing. Hey, be sure to click your name in the chat box so I can support you later, okay? Thank you, thank you. Ricky, thank you. So I only have 20 minutes left battery on this. Actually, I'm going to change the battery. You guys are awesome. Hey, how are you, Togo? And how are you? Chatable, chatable, and Carlos. How are you guys doing? Hey, Togo, I saw your picture wearing that flower top. That was really cute. <laughs> oh, 
baby Aiden. Thank you, baby Aiden. Andy working on Elsa dress. I'm trying to set up this camera so I can uh, do like a close up later to show you guys. It's actually pretty cool, really. I don't want to forget that. If I can get this camera to work, that'd be awesome. All right, let me just. I'm not like a camera person. So every time I do something, I kind of like learn how to do it every time. That's why I like using webcam. It's so easy. This dating thing is quite hard. Thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate it. I promise I will wear this dress and then sh and then show you guys later. It's quite complex, really, for this dress itself. Elsa, Frozen number two. Her dress is like more complicated compared to the old one. But I believe all together we can do it. So now the camera is working, but I'm not sure whether see if it's the right angle. We need just a little more up. Hopefully, yeah. And auto, and then hit record. It is recording. Thank you. Appreciate that. I have another one. This one, I'm not too sure about if I open my mouth, it shows something. I think. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, but look. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, oh, baby Aiden. Auntie miss you, too. Auntie going to make you some chicken soup. Tell me you guys like this. When I open my mouth, it's hard coming up. Sorry, but it's just so much fun. All right, so continue from leftover yesterday. Hey guys, we got some stuff. My friend is good. You can come and say hello to my friends and the taco is online too. Oh, wait, wait, no. what, what's that you Don't say that word. Hello, taco. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> Why are you? Open your mouth. Open your mouth over there. Hi, right? taco. <laughs> right. We got Mike. Oh, good. Great. Awesome. My family just got back from do whatever. So. Dude, you can't make me sound because it's not like you can't, but every sound gets away of it. When you make sound, it's got hurt. Just to let you know. Oh, thanks so much, you guys, Lucian. Hey, you guys, get connect. Thanks so much for placing your name in the chat box. Promise, we'll find you as soon as I finish streaming. So this is the dress right here. 
yesterday I finished the back side of the dress right here if you guys can see and right here this is going to be the flapper because the dress itself comes with two flappers and that two flap in the back when she walk is so cute like the flapper like flow it's so cool <laughs> I'm gonna get this one. Thank you, guys. <laughs> love you, guys. You see all this? Ah, I love the effect. It's really cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut the front pattern. So let me uh, take a look at the dress one more time. Based on the dress itself, I wish I can show you, but frozen number two. And this, uh, her front dress, we have three pieces because the top, the top uh, part of the dress, you have two pieces and the bottom part of the dress, you have one pieces and the dress itself, like an A-line shaped dress. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, it's so cute. So, uh, the dress itself is an A-line uh, shaped dress and it cut at the waist right here. So we can connect two pieces up here and then connect to one piece in the bottom from the waist down. And that's what the dress is look like. Look. So right here, we're going to cut right here a little bit below the dress. Hey, awesome. Oh, hey, Aiden. Auntie, miss you, baby. We're going to see you soon. Hey, Chatterbolt Lori. <laughs> of course. We love to. Go check out everyone. So you can just click on that. You will see each other channel, guys. Let's connect. So, and here's the shoulder line. This is the flapper of the dress. And here is the armhole of the dress. And this is the dot. And the dress is still going to be like fitted. So then it's come with two dogs. <laughs> so now I'm gonna drag the front part, okay? And one good thing about this uh, dress, after I drag the back pattern, the front part, you don't have to do a lot of work with the front. You just use the back pattern, place it on top, the paper, <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Actually, thank you guys so much. Thanks so much for you guys being here. Appreciate it. Be sure to place your name in the chat box and we will connect later, guys. So, <laughs> thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. So, I'm gonna just place this dress on the back side of the dress on top of paper and then I'm gonna draft the front. It's so easy guys. It's like with the the drafting method that I use here. Like as soon as you finish the back side, you just place it and then you use it to put on top of paper and you could draft the front pattern. And then okay. And the front pattern, we do not have zipper. We only have a back zipper. I'm going to turn this on. Let me get some tape. Awesome, awesome. If you guys new to my channel, please place your name in the chat box so we can connect later. And don't be shy, guys. Say hello to one another. You guys are awesome. My table a little small and 
this dress is like longer than my table and I have to find a way to make it work here. <laughs> I hope it works because it worked before so I'm going to adjust this first in fact let me just adjust down here All right, what about cut the bottom first and then cut the top? All right, this is what I'm gonna do. So come from the bottom first. And then I'm gonna tape it. So I can slide the paper down. <laughs> Hello everyone. Yep, say hi to everyone guys so we can connect later, okay? Thanks so much for being here, everyone. You guys are awesome, awesome. <laughs> hey, where are you guys all from? Are you from the USA? Yeah? I know one of my friends is from USA. Actually, she lives around here. We almost neighbors. So I'm going to straighten this pattern together and I'm going to use the tape to do it. Actually not like tape tape, the masking tape. This masking tape is awesome to make pattern. You use this tape, guys. This is masking tape. It's really cheap. It may, I mean, not cheap, cheap, but compared to regular tape, this is much cheaper. Oh, that's so cute. So this masking tape is really useful when it comes to drafting the pattern. And I'm going to use that tape to tape on the pattern so I can cut it because my table is smaller than, uh, shorter than the, than the, I used to do it outside, but so now it is winter. Hey guys, in Santa Fe right now, it's so cold guys. Like super, super cold. I'm not kidding. Like one day. Itago, did you know the other day when we woke up and we look at the the temperature was like 26 degree Fahrenheit. Like really cold. Okay. So now I'm taping this thing up. Hey, thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Say hello to each other, guys, so we can all connect. Love it, you guys being here. Be sure to place your name in the chat box so I can support you later. So if you guys new to my channel, I'm Rose, and I'm making Elsa costume for this Halloween. Okay, so the back of the dress finished, and now I'm working on the front of the dress, okay? <laughs> there, that's better. You guys don't care about my pattern, aren't you? Or you want to see the pattern? So, let me pull the table out here a little bit. This is stick. It is sticky. Okay, that's much better. I 
And this is a pattern paper. It's come in a roll like that. Actually more like an art paper, but you can use that to make pattern too. Although it's not as strong as the pattern paper. Pattern paper is super strong. Hey, let's connect guys. It is a great opportunity for you guys to connect when we live. It's really, really great to actually see each other. All right. So now I'm gonna draft the front. Okay. So based on, again, the front dress right here, we have two pieces down here, but also we have like a dress tongue. And that dress tongue, I will sew it in. But first of all, I'm going to cut, pretend like it's no tongue, and then I just slip the paper. I will show you that. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much for you guys being here. So. I'm going to put this down while I'm drafting the neck so you guys can see what it is. It's kind of interesting actually. Haha, <laughs> that's not what I'm looking for. A measuring tape and this is on my neck. So right here, right here is my, so we're going to go up by nine. That's your eight and a half. You okay? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, from here to there, we're going to mark it. That's the front. I would like to just keep the video. You picked Mikey from school? Or? No, we saw him. Oh, cool. At the, That's awesome. You know, right at the stop sign in front of the mall. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Awesome. They have a snap of the sign. Tracing you. Oh, they do. Good. So I'm going to trace the dot. And front bob. It's good to use the tracing wheel. Let me show you guys. So this is the tracing wheel, guys. It's really cool. It's another pattern making tool that student or designer must have. Unless you, you know, like a when I used to make clothes in Cambodia, I never really make pattern. So this is like useless. But if you make a pattern out of paper first before you uh, before you turn into clothes, that's like a must have tool. So we use that to trace any seam allowance and any dot. And hopefully I get this dress, you know, 
supposed to be at least supposed to be done or and get it done for the whole of you know course because so uh, I want to wear for the Halloween. Do you guys dress up for Halloween? If you do, what are they? What's your costume? I'm going to just cut heavy here. And this is another tool, guys. We have so many tools, right, Itago? Like so many pattern tools, so many fabric tools. This is called a, it's called a road, wait, road cutter, something like that. But this wheel is really short. I use it to cut fabric, to cut the paper. All right, so. I'm going to use different color on marker. So this is the next. This next right here. And it was, oh, let me see. Unless I print it out. Oh, that's fine. You guys know what I'm talking about. Frozen number two, Elsa dress. this a little bit And this is like come to her waist length so they can use the tongue for the dress. Let me twist it first. So this is, I'm gonna cut for the rest to connect and this is Actually, from here, up here, it's going to be the next. And my next length is... So my next one, huh, I did not measure my next one. Let me try. <laughs> going to be around this area, 21, that's about right. So my next length is 21. Let me write that down because I will uh, share this chart on my blog. And I also list the... So my next length is 21. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to, so this is the cut. All right. This is a little tricky, guys.
So that's what the next looks like, guys. Ha ha. <laughs> Find my face and then use that. Awesome. Okay. So we want to cut only from here. And we need to see Malone. You need to see Malone. So this is the next guy, and then this part right here, I'm going to use it as like a tongue for her dress. And I will create that tongue later, but right now I'm gonna draw the dot, or actually trace the dot. So I twisted the side here, and right here, and right here. And I already tried the cut part here. That's awesome. So where right I want to trace? Nothing else. Oh, right here. <laughs> it's all go say hello, babe. Hello, darling. Ha ha. Thank you guys for stopping by. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you. So, now, actually, let me finish cutting it before I continue to chop, chop into small pieces. Yeah. Hey, it all go. It don't be. It was a hot, cold. How was it the weather over there? I forgot to ask about that. Is it warm over there? Cut this area. Ha ha. Awesome. I'm going to do this. Let me. Uh, I do not want to ruin my desk. <laughs> I have this uh, mat on my desk, guy. This healing mat thing. And the mat itself, kind of a little shorter than the table too. So it's uh, quite funny. And I do not want to actually cut it on it. If I use this tracing wheel on my desk, it would ruin the desk. So right now I'm tracing the seam allowance, guys. And by the way, this uh, tool, you use it on the healing mat. Let me show you. This healing mat. Hey, are you guys live in Philippines or 
Cambodia, for example, where I came from, I never really know what the heck is healing mat. Right here, this is called a healing mat. And this mat, I can use like this tool right here, cut on it constantly, it doesn't ruin the mat. If I do it on the table, it poke a hole in the table and the table like messed up. But with this healing mat, it's not messed up at all. I mean, that's what it's called healing mat. And I can even use this blade right here, a road rolling blade on it, and it doesn't ruin it either, which is really awesome. Let's see. What about that one? I still like this one. And one more thank you. Oh, really? You know, I thought about also make Anna, Anna dress. What about we all make Anna costume and we all wear it? What about that, Itago? You make Anna costume and we make one for Aiden. And then we all wear Anna. You know what color was it, Anna dress? It was like kind of red-ish. I like a... Uh, uh, Elsa dress because she has these two flappers, the two flappers in the bag. I heard something. Oh, okay. Did you put my water bottle somewhere? No. In fact, I saw it somewhere. You want to know where? where? In the kitchen, next to the uh, banana. Huh? You must have left it some there for a while back, I think. One of those things I feel like I'm like really useful. My children and my family, sometimes when they lost stuff, they come and ask me. <laughs> hey, hey, you know. Like their stuff, like they use it quite well, and then <laughs> just like my husband example, he's a, <laughs> he doesn't know where his bottle of water is, and he asks me, and I tell him where it is. It's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm have like a special sense that know everybody's stuff is. I guess it's not my intent though. It just happened to like appear in my face. So, it's not mean I'm like looking for that, it just happened. It's kind of funny. All right, so I'm going to like slice, slice a couple part here, okay? All right. So, this is the back and the front pattern. Hey, look at that, Itago. You see right here, it's the back of the dress. I mean the front, gonna curve just like your jacket. Right there. Actually, just like my jacket right here. See right there? That's what the dress. Except right here, you have like a tongue right here come down. I believe it should be like lace or chiffon, something like that. So it's going to be really cool. So, now, a couple of things I need to do here. Since the bottom is cut away from the top part, I have to slit the fabric. But I have to note it right here. 
because make sure that I, when I cut the fabric, I will have the seam allowance. So then I don't have to like make another pattern. I could, but the fact is you can just know right here, okay, right here we cut, because the dress is cut, we're gonna need seam allowance. And another thing I'm just like thinking of is like, uh, okay. See this area right here? I'm not gonna have a dot down here. I only have a dot for the top. So give the skirt more kind of flare look. And I'm gonna probably use, if I have enough fabric. Hey, do you know Itago? I bought this, uh, let me show you. Ta-da! So this is a fabric, look, I bought this fabric like $5 from a strip store. And you see, I just iron it. I wash it first and then I iron it. You see these were blue embroidered? Yeah, that's why I make Elsa a dress. I just remember that now. Hey, Reggie. Thank you. So what I did was I found the fabric first and then I decided to make Elsa because this is like, you see the color is blue. Like Elsa dress. That's why I made Elsa, I guess. But again, because this fabric, like five bucks, guys. And of course, like, took me a few hours to iron it. Okay, so back to the pattern thing. This is also another tool. Exacto knife. Oh, really useful, guys, but sharpie too. See right there? So I use that to slice fabric, slice paper. Oh, more like paper rather than fabric. And we're gonna use that tool as well. Okay, so now right here, I'm gonna cut this in half. And the same time, I'm going to cut right here. In fact, let's just, I want this, uh, why not? Because we have plenty of paper. So I want to cut the tongue part. So I'm not too sure what it's called exactly, but the front right here, because how the dress work, we put the top right here and then from here to here and between there is the tongue, I think. I'm not too sure. All right, so you see the front right here? I'm going to put this under like that. Let me uh, adjust this a little bit so you guys know what I'm talking about. So now you can see, okay. So right here, I'm going to do this, okay? because I'm going to need seam allowance and plus this is easy to create it. First of all, let me just straight this thing a little bit to the line. And another thing about this uh, healing mat is have come with like the ruler for you. Like give you an idea or like make it easier for you. Um, If you guys see what I'm doing right here, I'm trying to trace this uh, Trace this tongue, okay? And it will be easy. I just uh, put on top like the visual is clear and then seam around. Okay, and then tracing wheel, guys. We need the tracing wheel. Okay, so this is right here. So the tracing wheel will allow me to 
cut around it so it can have like a perfect seam alone. Okay. Now the more I think about it, I kinda yeah, I think 20 should be enough. So right here, see right there. Now I can have seam allowance over here. Now I'm going to cut. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just connect the next bus and then here. I'm going to cut the interface and then put the, let me, uh, I will show you later on my body so you will see what I'm talking about. And now this is the part that I just trust. I'm going to label it T. So then, <laughs> thank you, Tyler. So all the label it, guys. And then we need this to be full. We need a two side. And we also need seam along. You know, if I can fold the fabric down, I don't need the seam along here. Just fold the fabric. Yep. I'm also gonna fold this fabric as well. Mm -hmm. However, we need seam allowance right here. So this is going to be the full. And another thing to be aware of is that we do not want to get your pattern mixed up with resting paper because once in a while, especially when I'm in a hurry and I did that and I hate it because I have to go back and remake the pattern. So now this front part, the tank one is done. Now I'm gonna cut this part right here and I'm gonna do interfacing right here as well as drawing the dot. Where did I do the last? No, I did not trace. Oh, thank goodness. Make me trace all the way to the front. I bought it at the Savior Togo. It's amazing. Oh, it was like a, I think they have like a, no half off of, no, but actually a full price, like $5. And it is beautiful. Of course, like, I have to wash it first and then I run it. But it's really, really cheap. If we bought, so that fabric right there, if we buy from Joanne Itago, cost us like $200, seriously. It comes with the chiffon and it's come with this uh, lining. Look, this shiny lining. It's like perfect for the whole dress. I can like have the lining on the chiffon with lace embroidered and only five dollars. It actually pretty good deal, huh? Is this yours? Okay. Because I do not want in that place. Yeah, for costume, oh, it's going to be super amazing. Oh no, did I have chip in there? Uh, yeah, it should be. If it doesn't have chip, would I be turning the camera on without chip, babe, or it will ask for me? It will ask for chip. 
Okay, good. Huh. Oh my goodness. Scare me a little bit. Let me cut this part right here. So, as I mentioned earlier, this right. Hey, Tan. Thank you for visiting. I appreciate it. Let's connect, everyone. Thank you for being here. So, I'm going to cut the waist part here because we're going to have like a cut on the waist side for her dress. Now, I'm going to cut it, guys. Wait. Let me, let me double. Tag. So we have zipper in the bag, and we're gonna connect from here to here. And now we're gonna cut for the right side. Okay, let's do it. Oh, wait a minute. One more thing. I need to trace uh, all the. I need to trace this, uh, what is it, the dot from like the bottom of. Because the bottom half, I'm not going to have the dot. So I'm going to actually uh, use a bias fabric if I have enough, of course. If not, I still not going to use dot, but I'm going to cut it to make it fit. Okay, so now look, I can actually cut here, but make sure I have the seam allowance. So I'm gonna need note right here, need seam allowance. Uh, let me just need seam allowance. Okay. The same as the top here. Need seam allowance. If I don't have seam allowance, we're gonna miss some part. I think that's one thing like pro and con about making the paper pattern. We need to actually a lot more writing than you just draft the fabric itself, okay? So this is a seam allowance. And now I can cut it. I literally want to cut this part. Bro. Okay, so now this is half of the dress. Um, so this is the back side of the dress, as you can see. The back side here, right? Now I cut half off, and this is the front. Let me show you the top. Okay, look at that, Itago. So, right here, this is the front. See right there? And then the neck gonna come this way, like that. Just like that. And that's what her dress is. The thing is though, I have two yokes in the back. Oh no, I need to cut the yoke. Because right here, so this is gonna be the yoke. And I'm gonna snip right here, and then right here, this is from here to here, it's gonna be a flapper, okay? See? Insert the flapper right here, and then boom, that flapper will just flow. It's so pretty. First of all, I need to actually create a flapper from this thing while this thing's still connected. So, I want to look. So 
So now I'm going to measure. So I'm going to use the paper to create a flapper. And her flapper is going to be from here to here. Let me fold it. Because I want it to be like uh, the flapper is more like a, it's like a wing. And uh, maybe it's not a good example. This wing is like a kind of narrower on the top and then come down bigger, bigger. And that would be chiffon fabric. I want to put that equally in the middle. And then I'm going to draw the line from the center. And I will create the seam along here. I also want the seam along on each side. So I just fold the paper and create this line, this crease line right here. Okay, so this line right there. And I'm going to draw it out and then create a perfect flapper. Where is my ruler? Oh, I just it down here. I'm gonna use this for you. So, this is the flapper. Okay. And I'm gonna just draw the line out here. Let's give it a link that appropriate. So that's going to be the flower. Okay. So that's a flapper. Oh, that's so pretty. I like it already. <laughs> Let me measure out this side here. Did you find what you're looking for at Best Buy then? Uh, not really. Oh. oh, yeah, Best Buy, yeah, of course. No. That's so cute. So fifteen and fifteen. Yep, actually exactly. Whoop. Okay. And now I'm going to give it the bottom in. Okay.
don't know, I'll label it. So this right here is sent to bed. Okay, that's the same case. And then there's two pieces of this. What? What? Get back to twitching. You're working. Or get back to YouTube and whatever this is. Can't say that word. Wait, time I got caught again. You got caught again? No, it would say it three times. Then they smack me again. Oh. I don't really play those, I just opened it. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of training videos that I watched before. Okay. Hey. Kind of downgrade, so. Well, there was downgrade, though. It wouldn't be that hard. Yeah, I think. I'm about to make this joke, but it's not funny, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> not gonna do it. Some joke was funny, and some joke was funny. Whoop. Can you do that? Whoop. <laughs> oh my goodness, I do not like these tripod. The tiny one that I got, it wasn't a good one at all. It's like it keeps like falling sideways. I actually I want one tripod that light and small, but it's good. And I don't know how to get that one. Mm. 
small blade, but it's not like keep falling off. Because it's kind of soft, it's keep falling off. Like that. Hey, Rene! Thank you for stopping by. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's connect everyone. You guys are awesome. Thank you. So, we need two pieces. This. So now this is good. I'm going to put this together. And we need one piece that's fold right here. The top. So now that's that. So this is two pieces together. We need we need a this one. So So we got the back covered now. It's bummer. So I got the front and the back. Okay, you know. I'm going to trace this line and the line. You know, I can. I don't need to use this. I get it twice in there.
I remember the mystic yolk. Hello, hello, hello. So the next thing I want to do. Hello, hello.
stopping by the adventure. Thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. So you begin to be full. I know, that is great, awesome, thank you, appreciate it. Be sure you to place your name in the chat box, guys. My sleeve length is 54, long sleeve.
Hello, hello.
Yeah. You on the switch right now? I mean, you on YouTube right now? I'm live. Okay. I'm in Coder Fashion and I'm live.
Hello, hello, hello.
Button. Good evening. Actually, good afternoon. Only three. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for your support. Oh, love that heart. Thank you. So nice of you.
Okay, the similar Thank you, super smart. Hey, yep, shout out everyone. Let's connect one to another. Come on, guys. Awesome. Rester, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. You guys are awesome. Be sure to place your name in the chat box, guys, so I can connect with you later.
Thanks, Roaster. Appreciate that.
They stuff are quite delicate. Mm hmm. This is. This fabric is quite delicate. This fabric is quite delicate. Oh, I hate English. Oh, I love English. English is English is lovely. I love English. Love English a lot. So now I need to save this for later. And I'm going to work on yeah. Oh, children, I thought it sounded like you like a cow moo or something like that. All right. Oh, I keep kicking this thing over the tripod. Sorry. They meant it with respect. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to cut. I finished the back and the front for the half top. Now I'm going to cut the bottom. Hard. By the way, guys, in Santa Fe right now is freezing cold, so that's why kind of a little bit leaf falling down. Show is really, really, really cold here. <laughs> hey, where you guys come from? Are you guys from the U.S. or Germany or England? Or from Colorado to be specific. Hey guys. Hey Fox Sport. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Brazil? Oh my god, that's so cool. How's Brazil right now? How sweet. Here is freezing in the US. <laughs> Germany for real, Raster? Oh, so cool. I was guessing whether we wanted you guys from Germany. And yes, awesome. Hey, Raster. You know, I want to go to a fashion school in Germany. I'm not sure how it works. 
are you in school or you know a little bit about that Awesome, awesome. I've watched a bunch of a video and uh, everyone's like so friendly, especially to the student. I'm not sure. Is that true? Rusher or just a joke? Oh, that's so cool. So this is the half part of the bottom of the dress, Elsa dress. Actually, I'm not gonna actually have the dot for the bottom part. So I'm gonna cut them. I'm making this dress for all the little girls who love Elsa. And I'm going to wear it though. <laughs> This dress is really cool. I will share with you guys after I finish the dress and I'm gonna wear it and I'm gonna wear this dress during Halloween and go to the Italian restaurant. And then we're gonna film a footage and then I'm gonna share with you guys. So, have you guys see the preview for Elsa uh, Frozen number two? Is they dress a little bit different than the old dress? Elsa wear the dress like in Frozen number one. It's a little bit different than number two. And I select the number two because I like this uh, behind the dress itself have like two wings. It's super cute. And I want that wing. That's why uh, I choose this dress rather than. So I already uh, draft the wings. So right here, it's the wing and it's gonna be two wings it's really cute and this is ice princess and it's gonna be light blue fabrics and the fabric gonna be lace more like chiffon and embroidered with roses lace can be really really cute so these are the front and the back of the dress thanks so much for your support guys appreciate it so hopefully i got enough fabric for this by the way i got this fabric again i got it like for five dollars from a thrift store Oh, um, it's like perfect for the dress itself. So I was kind of lucky.
The fabric itself costs five dollars, and I can share my experience on making this dress with you guys. How cute is that? You know, so you're an, an engineer, I guess. Like, uh, I keep telling my fans about how to make clothes. Like, when you look at the, let's say, the whole dress, for example, Elsa dress. If we look at it, okay, let's say, speak to a person who, no, the battery low. Let me change that. Let's speak to a person who never done sewing. First of all, do you guys sew at all? Or have an idea or know someone sews? Because to me, I felt that making clothes is more like a, a in uh, architecture or not much with an engineer because I'm not sure what do you do an engineer like go uh, like building a road or because engineer could come with so many type is it right but you could be in fact one of my friend her husband is an engineer but I'm not quite sure what does he do, actually. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate that. The camera ran out of battery, so I have to change it a little bit. It's like when we look at the whole dress, it looks like really complicated and we don't know what to start. But if we break down step by step, it is easy. Just like Elsa dress, for example. It the dress itself comes with two flappers in the back, two pieces on the top for the front, and uh, four pieces in the back and including two flappers. It's like a wing almost. It's like airplane, for example. And when we look at the whole dress, it looks so complicated. But if we like break it down step by step, let's say to build her dress, I have to start it from the basic. I will start it from cut just to dress and then split it in pieces, two pieces in the back for the bottom and then two pieces in the front for the half. So total of the dress like about maybe six to eight pieces together, which is really simple after I broke it down to piece by piece. But for the human eye, let's see, if I look at the, what is it the, uh, oh, 30 rock building. It's so hard. I don't know how people even start and become and make the building itself turn to a beautiful building. It's so complicated, but someone did it and make the building look so pretty. And I just love that idea about making clothes. I told my fan, it's the same thing. It's like you look at a big building, it's Someone did it, but from a person perspective who doesn't know how to build or design, ah, it's just too complicated. And you don't even want to start to think about it. But to a person who do that for a living, break it down step by step, it become a really easy thing to do. And also fascinating too. So I always like that. Mm. 
yeah, I want to go to a designing school in Germany, but I'm not. I'm in a process of doing research, actually. I'm so excited that you from Germany. <laughs> so this dress can have the zipper in the back. And this is like the half of back of the dress. It's actually I'm really excited to see the end result. Where is my scissor? I'm going to try. And the roster. Make a little bit of simalan up here. I do not go enough simalan. One big enough, but not too big that I waste so much fabric. I'm going to have this dress like a not a bag less, but have only chiffon in the back side of my dress. And it's almost like a see through, but with this uh, blue fabric, it's not a, it's not so much a revealing. That's gonna be really cute. That's what her dress too. She's uh, the character itself, Elsa. She's a little girl, but her dress is like an adult kind of kind of dress because the back of her dress see through for the half of the top, and it's quite cute and more like designed for like a an adult almost. Because for the girl point of view, for example, <laughs> no reason to have a dress that can see through in the back. So, the girl's hot and she wants it to be cool in the back. Uh, no, still, it, it's just like the designer have a reason to throw certain thing on there, not just boom, you plop it in whatever you think it is. The fact is, it should be some reason why the dress have no, okay, for these things like, more like a see-through rather than uh, all filled with fabric. That's all. Well, now we can see each other a lot better. What? Well, I got my other monitor down. Monitor? What monitor? Oh, it's behind your screen. Huh? Let me see. Oh. No, 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 no. What? Where is that monitor? It's over there. <laughs> I found it under the table. That's not funny. 
Hey, Roster, how's the, how's the weather in Germany? Right now, at this moment. Because we look it on the internet and try to figure it out whether it's like super cold like here or like um, around New York area. But we're not really sure. Now, the side of the dress is finished. Again, I'm not gonna do the dot in the back side. I'm going to. I will do that later. I don't need the dog. This fabric is again is really really delicate and it comes kind of pain. I love it. So and it's the front and the back. Fashion itself needs a lot of needs a lot of tool and space. If you have a small space, it's not really fun. But what can you do? Time is it? Only three something. We're streaming to your five. Can you close that window, Mama? I'm streaming. Why are you not allowed to close the door? Don't get too cold. We gotta sleep in there. You're just a baby. You baby. No, you're a baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna be funny. Elsa gonna drink beer at the restaurant. <laughs> We will cut that part out, not show children that, but <laughs> No. I thought there was Elsa's in the gay parade. <laughs> right. well, you got Elsa's in the gay parade, Elsa's doing some gay stuff. Sorry, but... They had all of it. They had a bunch of Marvel characters when we were there. They right. do. But not a lot of Disney. Well, Elsa's popular with everybody. Poor little girls. Yeah. These are men that like being girls. Oh, come on. Yeah. There you go. That's just not well, right. I'm going to show you guys. Yeah. 
when we at the Italian restaurant. <laughs> we were sure you guys We go to our gardens fine. But that is as close as a Because on the whole Halloween night, Daddy. Because I assume the restaurant is still gonna have people celebrate for Halloween. Yeah, it's like a Thursday. Though. Thursday? Yeah. Too bad. I have no idea what would they would be celebrate Halloween holiday here in Santa Fe. I know in New York they uh, celebrate what is Times Square or Grinch Village, something like that. You mean the Crazy River? Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, shoot, what's his name? I told you before, shoot, I forgot. Grinch Village, you thought? Uh, Soho. Soho? Yeah. Okay. It was in Soho. Soho. Hey, come here for a second, baby. Help me with this. What? Can you get this over the pad? I can't seem to get it over. What? You can't seem to get it over. Put it on my arm, yeah. yeah. Gentle. So you don't want to get punched in the face. Mm -hmm. I thought gentle for me because I'm old. You talking like gentle for you, or? Really? Yeah, man. You're always still men. You're still strong. Yeah. Uh huh. Actually, it's a lovely day at all. See? Sure. Now, well, so this is finished front and back, both sides. And the front is good, and the bag I don't even need here, but I did anyway. And I'm gonna cut chiffon, new chiffon fabric for the bag because it's gonna be see through on the bag. And now I'm gonna cut sleeve, and after that, oh, the sleeve is chiffon, so I don't need. But I do need the interface. in the fridge yeah. you know if you have food in the house especially junky junk food what Don't can you do we got a pizza boy god really you know what you're saying and you have a whole pizza, no, it's not whole pizza. you guys are so wrong no, no, no. so sorry thank goodness i'm glad because really, if, if we had pizza, you would eat it. It's hard to like reject the pizza. <laughs> when I made that argument about Tiger Woods, you said that was wrong. Yeah. Come on. The women that were chasing Tiger Woods. Don't bring that up. It's hard to reject. Really? That's like the pizza of, you know. <sighs> what a beautiful. So we need this like super hard here. So I put this on top of the, what we call felt interfacing and then I'm gonna iron it on top of fabric and give it a really like a 
really, really uh, strong structure. Um, it's good for the design. He <laughs> talk like a uh, on a Elsa sister dress more than Elsa dress. Mm -hmm. And I told her that you know I might make on a dress too. If she made one and then she wear and then it, and then made one for Aiden and then we all wear on a dress. That'd be so cute. My fans are from all over the world. Okay. This one. Brazil, Germany. Philippines, Vietnam. Thailand. With your shoulder, why do you need the heat pad? It hurt. A lot. Oh. Did you make your your wife mad or something? That's why you have. <laughs> so you have a hurt shoulder. <laughs> One more layer. Because you need that bag, it has to be tall and strong. So we need this to make it stronger in the back. $10,000. Good job. Awesome, awesome. do 
guess that right now he woke from a... Uh, uh, he also woke from home, but it's like uh, the business location is here in Santa Fe. He, uh, like a sales service. So what he does, he just like talk on the phone with the customer from uh, the house. If he had that job compared to if he had the kids, mm -hmm. his job's better because he's working during the day. Right, right, exactly. But if you were in Ethiopia, the happy kids would be much better. See, yeah, but the thing is, you know, he'd be working in the middle of the night over there. He doesn't. Uh, he can't take the job when he's traveling. He only takes the job when he's here. No, he can't go on the No, he's not. He's from home or he goes there? From home. Oh, maybe the... What the hell? Why not? Because... Uh, I don't know, but he didn't go into detail. He just said he just had this job before his trip. And then when he's come back, he can start looking to teaching online just like you do. Well, sounds like he's not working online. Mm, no, I asked him he worked from home. He said it's like, I feel like $18 an hour or something like that, I think. I'm not too sure. Well, you know. Valley is similar to Cambodia price wise. Yeah. And I never made that much. In the major? Yeah. It is gorgeous, it really is. But it looks a lot like Cambodia. Yeah, I know. It is gorgeous. Gonna have a bunch of cobra no, snakes cobra. and it's gonna bite you to death. <gasps> I guess you have it's like guess that, mean snakes everywhere. So, you know, if you were in Cambodia and you never left your guest house, you're not going to run into any snakes. I think. Thank goodness. I did not lose this part. Where would you see in Mexico? You wouldn't. Too many people on the beach for snakes to be around there. What was I was thinking? Oh, it's like a... We want to label this. Uh, one thing that I'm concerned about Asia is like uh, pollution. And the government can't really count on what they're going to do. No, badly you can't. In That's the why nature? a lot of expats, go, I mean, uh, students don't know if to go there. Are you sure? Yeah, Indonesia is a lot more stable. Than like the government itself more yeah. stable? Okay. It's been stable for years. Huh. Oh. Oh. Babe, after my education, you can go anywhere you want. No, I mean, we're, no, we're going to spend this next uh, winter there. After my... No, next, not, this, not this winter will be cold. Next winter we'll be in Bali this time. Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is you really want to choose where to live after the education, like even you yeah. want to like live there for like year and year, whatever. No, I still think... If I had to choose it, I would live in different places. Okay. Paris in the summer or the spring, you know. Mm -hmm. I love that. I, I mean, I'd love to go there and we spend a month in Paris and then we go up to Norway for, you know, uh, where the sun's up all day and you see the northern lights. Maybe I know. we spend a month there. Oh my God. I would you know? love to do that. I would love to just travel the world. Um, make a living while we live wherever it is. Well, then we work our way. Unless we hit the lottery, then we don't have to worry about making them. Well, you know, guys that are even rich, they have houses in different areas. You know, they have a house in France, and they only stay in a couple months a year. You know. Yep. So all these are gonna. Well, be. we could do the same thing with guest houses and not hit the lottery. Yeah. You mean like the own guest house? No, baby. We go pay oh, to stay in that Yeah, house. right. I see. 
Yeah, but I would have loved it. Well, there's absolutely no difference, hardly, okay. except for the okay. money part. We're it's still in the same, we got the same weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're walking on the same streets. Mm -hmm. We're eating maybe the same food if they're kind of poor. You know. Yep. But if you go to a Starbucks in Paris and the, um, you know, Steve Jobs, or he's dead, <laughs> or they to the same for the Starbucks, you know? There's only the one Starbucks. <laughs> They don't always just get coffee at their hotel. Yeah. And no matter how rich you are, <laughs> you're going to go out. <laughs> you know, maybe you're not eating at McDonald's. Why not eat at McDonald's? No, really. But if we if we hit the lottery for $100 million and did this, or we do it with happy kids, eh, I, I, I'd be sleeping or taking a nap between noon and four. Okay. Right, but that's about it. Yeah. Nothing else would really change much. Uh -huh. Yeah. Besides that, of course, the hotels would be better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we're still gonna stay in a nice hotel. We're gonna stay in a dome. Airbnb is good. Yeah. I like Airbnb. Oh yeah, but they're they're all over the place. Though. Airbnb, you can't say that's a nice room because there's bad Airbnb. The yeah, only but, way they're not real bad is they get they would get bad ratings. Huh. Let's see. Well, there were some nice guest houses in uh in a yeah. yeah. And there were some that probably would get terrible ratings. <laughs> but even now guest houses are on Airbnb. So around the area. Mm hmm. Chiffon. I had to figure out whether to have the bottom with the legs, of course. Let me move this out of the way. Yeah, I know. But, you yeah, know, we'll figure it out then. Whatever that is. Bye. But it is nice to actually live in a warm place doing whatever, and we always get to the warm place wherever. And that is really well, weird. You know, not that rainy season, season is bad, but if you didn't have to be there, why do you have the rainy season? You know? Absolutely. And there were, there was, it was always a little hot, but there was like a month or so that we were way too hot for coming down. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You get used to it, but. I know. but you only go there when the weather's nice. Mm -hmm. You don't go through any typhoons. Yep. And the only reason you're there in the first place is is Australia is too hot because it's the dead of summer there, right? When summer is in like January, February. Uh -huh. So Australia is too hot to go to. Mm -hmm. um, and. Paris is too cold. Mm. That's all. But that's the only reason you go to Bali. We only have two batteries for what? uh these on <laughs> well these camera cannon. Yeah. Nice. I know that's why it's really tough to to have like a we would one. have to have probably four batteries to make it go through. Right. And you're gonna have massive ass file, you know. Yeah, I know. Part of life. Kind of boring, though. Mm, not. Uh, I mean, that quality would be good for cutting your video to make a video. Yep, that's what it is. I'm doing it for edit with this camera. Yeah, but then how are you going to do the audio? Huh? Use it from my uh, streaming. Oh, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, but that quality you should do voiceover. Oh, maybe voiceover. Because why would they watch that when they could just watch the other one? You know, for the same audience. It doesn't matter. No, because uh, what happened with uh, my editing, I uh, I just like do it more like a tutorial, tutorial way. Well, you're doing voiceover. You're not, you don't need sound. 
Okay, maybe that. That's what you do, then you don't need any sound, just a picture. Mm hmm. I was planning on doing this on the top part. Haha. Uh -huh. Little complicated for oh, this type of lace is somehow it only have it in the middle. Hmm. Let me see. So this is the front. You know? Let me try this better. So put the rose in the front. Mm -hmm. Icon. So I have extra piece over there. I can connect this in between. Hmm. And Mikey's birthday weekend coming up. Yeah, but. He doesn't really decide want to do anything, so. Well, no, he said he wants to do that tournament with some, something on Sunday. Yeah. And he wants to just be left alone. Okay, that's but fine. On Saturday, he wants to go out with him. So we'll it's... celebrate his birthday on Saturday. Wow. Well, that would be better than. But... It's a new game where you play single player instead of multiplayer or something. It's always a new game. Always. Always. Yeah. So, is you like I'm a game you addict? Go out on Saturday, but it's the same thing. You game addict. It's always a new game. Saturday is the same thing as Sunday. Hey, anything's fine. I don't care. Do you want to go out somewhere or? No, it's I not my birthday. So, wherever you guys want to do, fine. Mm -hmm. Um. Always find a way. Well, I mean, we could always go to, you know, Applebee's or Olive Garden. Just go at noon. Yeah. yeah, whatever you guys plan on doing, excellent with me. Because I can always find something to do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I might try that gluten free pasta. That's good. They got endless. Pasta that's gluten free. Okay, that's nice. But I don't know if I want to eat that much. I might just order one. I never thought about the gluten free pasta. Oh. Yeah. You know, gluten free pasta. Pasta is like a. Pasta. It's one of those things <laughs> to me. It's like, come on, you gotta eat pasta. I go for, but again, it's because I don't feel like I have any problem with any glue, so I can't really tell. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out a way to save this as the shoulder part. Because Let's see, I use this as a shoulder because it's what all her dress is. The lace is up here. Hmm. And I need that laptop looks so small. I mean, I need it to go small. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. So you use a small monitor now. I'm having need a monitor. Which one? For the computer. Which monitor? Babe, he need a monitor. Doesn't matter which monitor. I don't have any monitors. Though. You don't? Then buy one. Yeah. Okay. We buy a whole set for Michael. No, no, that is we're just to hear me out. Okay. Right? That's what I've been telling you. Don't you have a bunch of extra monitors? No, we don't. What? We got a whole set for Mikey. We can get one monitor for Marvin. 
Because it's fair. Not even fair, actually. Remember? Going with this for sure. They have Michael go with us no, for sure, not too. For sure, but yeah. It's still first choice of St. John's. Maybe it is for sure. No, it's not. Yeah, I see that. Right. That's what I see. I don't know, but then you know the future is going. <laughs> So that's perfect. Well, I'll give Marvin that big TV monitor and stick it in there. Okay, if you can do that, then the problem fixed. But it's not gonna, we should not fall on his face. Oh, on his desk now, it's empty. Is that? Yeah, I'll still have to drill some holes. Do not drill on the desk. Maybe. If you that drill it, no it's gonna throw it away at the end. Yeah. Really? You rather like throw away or sell for like fifty dollars? Are you sure? You want to price fifty dollars? Well, no because you want to. Yeah, mm -hmm. you figure it out. You're fine, do we? So all the less in the top for Elsa. But I do not see. Well, I really think if you bought a monitor and then she would, if you had to sell the monitor, you would lose more than the 50 bucks. So. Yeah. I mean, the dad, you know, something's going to be lost. Either we buy a monitor and then try to resell it, or we just try to buy a used monitor. Anytime we buy any technology stuff, the money go down the toilet. Not really, not all of them. Yeah, babe. For example, mm -hmm. microcomputer right now, if you want to sell it back, you probably lose two or one third or two or half. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, that's about normal. Yep, that is just factor. The loose. Well, every time we spend money on technology. Yeah. Same with buying car, I guess. Same thing. Yeah. As soon as you buy those, so what do you use? I mean, besides the land, and yeah, you know, land with a house that lands by itself. Mm -hmm. Not really is that fixed thing because with land, there's no new land that's better, but with a computer or a car, there's always the new one that's better than the old. Land is always the same. It's land. So all the lace is on top. Huh. And the bottom also have lace or embroidered. Mm -hmm. Now I need embroidered on the shoulder as well as on the bottom of the dress. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this would fit on the bottom, but not enough. I need to use this for. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see. Can't even tell me anything changed tomorrow. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't have I don't have OBS right now. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't want to add too much too fast. So, <laughs> um, what? The computer can't take it? 
Let me know it by the way. No, I can take it. I just don't want to have everything up there. Oh, like and then have something go wrong, and then I don't know what exactly went wrong. Okay, I see. Right now, that webcam goes straight to it, and I always can pick it. It's always on there. I have to be careful not to put the sound on the computer or This is could be. Yeah. Because I need my sound, you know, my I mean I guess you could, but I always check it. You know, make sure I'm on the right headset mic. Because there's so many other sound captures. And all it is is now I've added the camera that's on the laptop. Mm -hmm. But it's like a side view, so yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't know. me, I gotta switch cameras and a headset mic. I could see someone wanting just to you know plug something into the laptop. I'm going to do whatever press on. I have the fabric available. Don't mean. No, I think I still. It's not hard to get the webcam that's better and the headset microphone, even with the laptop. What are you talking about? No, I was thinking I could even go smaller with the uh, small, you know. But when really we on no the, reason. it's not that much smaller. I still need a headset. Of some when we on the road, yeah, we need a headset for sure. Oh, but the second screen—that's what I was thinking. Like, uh, oh, that would just be an iPad. An iPad, right? Yeah. So but I won't. I'll use my iPad for digital rewards. Right. When I do feedback, I'll put that up. But, you know, I don't even think I need that. Actually. Need what? I don't, I, you know, when I do feedback, I'm always looking at one screen. Mm -hmm. And now I, you know, I have the feedback downloaded on my drive. Yeah. So I'm able to change it. You know, so I, I, I change any mistakes, and I also get rid of stuff when they're asking for five Apple review or something. Mm -hmm. I just don't like that. And I changed their greeting to my own, my own greeting or, you know, goodbye. Yep. But I can, I can do that on one screen. Okay, so that's going to be different. Hmm, I do not like this outcome. This is kind of bitsy, pitsy. Gonna be rose in the front and no uh, roses in the back. Oh my god. It is hard. That's the only thing I got. Uh, oh, it's so bad. Bummer. Hey. Now I have to use this here. Sew it on top. Quick, complicated. I have to connect it somehow. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Let Gear roses in the front. Uh -huh. uh, oh, what about? Oh, yeah. I got an idea. I'm going to use this song. But I can look I'll try to see if it fits in those way. Oh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, if I can fit this 
one too. I said, oh my goodness, 40 more minutes done. I hope I will finish the uh, cutting part because it's take it out for the back. It's just so clean and bad. But I want to quit it by 12. So I'm getting done. Not too hungry, but I don't want to have to move me. Well, I'm trying to do something because I could get cranky. Okay, so I um, have, um, have no tricks stuff except to do this. <gasps> mm. this is no, it doesn't fit. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what if, what if I use this to sew on? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Just cut this and sew on that baby. Hmm. Huh. Fine. But it's good, but it isn't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a problem with an alien. Cause it's only I guess what I don't want to do that. Missy, Missy. I am lie. Just a little. Uh. Oh, look, I embroidered leather. Leather, don't do that. What? That is so rude. Oh my god. Hello, people. 
can't just come out here and then just give it a loud word for some mm -hmm. reason? Oh. And this shirt, I think you gave it to me. No, um, I saw it looked like embroidered a little bit, but actually it's just the paint itself gives that effect. That's kind of cute. Embroidered? Oh, you mean yeah. using the needle? Yeah, but actually it isn't. I thought it is. No. So. All right. Goodbye, people. Goodbye. Oh, my God, my bad. Whoa. Nasty. They can be a wizard bomb. Dang. They're strong people. Really? Oh. I need a little bit bigger to give my A line. Boom. Work just fine. But then, put one side right there for sleeve. Hi, but what about for my flapper? Oh my god, it's so hard. It, the fabric's like barely have enough. Yeah, have you ever left the computer off for so long that it makes weird noises and dies? Yeah, that's bad. Don't do that. Okay. I haven't done that because. Oh, well, I would like a screwdriver. Why? Because this is making weird. <laughs> no, quit playing with it. No, 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 it's fine. I, I know this. Okay, so this happened. My bad. Uh, I need. Huh? Turn it off. Leave it off for a while and then use vacuum to vacuum all the dirt out. If you look at closely a bunch of dirt, no, in the keyboard and stuff, look. Let me show you. That's what I did with the old computer. See right there? You see how much dirt you can see? Not dirt, literally your skin. Not even coming out. Don't even try. You have to turn it off completely and then get away. And you use those uh, brush tip and then, and I did it and it worked. I'll think about it. Okay, I have to be conservative with this dress or it's not enough. The fabric is, is, hmm. all right, fine. Try not to, but now I don't have the choice. I'm gonna just dissect you. Sorry, baby. And yeah, this camera is dead. Cool. Cool camera. Yeah. I have no tricks up to do this. Because I need a flapper, I need. Oh, there's so many things. If I can get the dress over there and then do this size flapper. Let's just get the front bus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the more like it. So you think Michael most likely stay at St. John? Is that what you prediction? No. I think it's about a 0.5% chance. <laughs> Maybe less. That's nothing. No, 25% is a lot. Okay. 25%, you give it like a little bit of credit for that too. Probably well, you 2%. Know, the only wild card would be Joey. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far Jody would push 
if at all. I don't know. But Jody does have some views. I mean, he's from Santa Fe. He's a, he went there. Yeah. Um, you know, if there's a scholarship, I bet you Mike's in the run. But I don't know if there's, you know. Huh. I mean, it could be someone donates, you know, a half a million dollars and says they want more people from Santa Fe there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, that's a 25% chance. <laughs> maybe the Davis Scholarship did it. Babe. You can guarantee those rich guys right. that have gone there before. You have to know the time to apply, blah, 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 and you have to put He's the application. Did, right? Really? He did? Oh, good. You were there. We talked. No. About it. We said, "What do you? What do we um, need to do next?" And they said, "Nothing. You've already applied." Really? Yeah. Okay. You know, when the time time comes for the money, yeah, that's when they'll make decisions on. Okay, so yeah. that's good. So that's a flapper idea. Okay, and now the back dress and hmm, the shoulder. I need less for the shoulder. And now the bag over there, and I can give. All right, that is the only way. No other way except this. I cannot like this outcome. I might block for this too much. Oh, what's the matter for me? That's not enough. Fine. Cool, flopper. Hopefully, it doesn't look too terrible. Could be with this. Oh no, haha. Uh -huh. Don't have the rush of that one, of course. Okay, that's a bow. So I could use this as sleeve. I'm going to cut. After I cut, and I'll come back. Done. Now, time to do the break.
Have them. Look at the bag. <laughs> This is more natural than the other way. Okay, perfect. This is better. That's about right. We have roses in the front. You see in the back almost. And we have
We did not soak today. Just relax. Okay, so front and back is done. No, front and back are done. Now all I need, two flappers, a sleeve. Oh my god, that is so close to be like... Oh my god. Yeah, definitely going to use the other piece of sleeve and call it good. And the flapper gonna go with this, maybe. Let our children swim, love you. It's for them. They're, they're, they're gonna wonder why the old lady is wearing it. That's what they're gonna think. Maybe to them it's just beautiful Elsa. No, it's all, all Elsa. To them, um, just a beautiful Elsa. They don't know the different Asia nor. Why, why would that old Wait, lady what? make the dress for her when I could have used that dress? Okay. Just saying. Hmm. All they know is the beautiful yeah, yeah, Elsa. She's been acting in pandemonium. You yeah. never want to try, are you sure? Is supposed to be yeah. Not Just saying. Children gonna mm -hmm. It's not about who you are, babe, about how you can perform. And that's the truth. I think I heard an artist say that. Mm-hmm. Although right now it's like... Wait, I like barely have any fabric left. So I absolutely use it up.
Almost five. <coughs> Pam is beautiful. <coughs> you came in? You choke on something? No. <sighs> Must be the dust from all this farming. Really? That's freight farming. That doesn't have dust. It's a truth, thing. No dust for fake farming. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. Let it go and like cry. <laughs> I want one of those, Mom. Also, I you know the other day I saw one <laughs> baby girl. She were she's like what five. Yeah, or something like that. She wear Elsa. Right. Oh my god, so cute. This fabric is hard to work with. Most of uh, your grandma gave me this uh, Japanese uh, silk. In fact, I made the uh, writing outfit, writing jacket out of the fabric. That was so hard to sew. I could not have sewed if I used the home machine. I had to use the industrial home machine. It was kind of lucky because I was in school. And I gave that jacket to Avery. So now she can wear a beautiful writing jacket. Okay, so front half part is done. Now it's gonna go in the back. I'm not going to do that. Hmm. Okay. Easier and the side part I will kind of hide it. Well, oh, let's we'll just come up here then. Uh -huh. Why not? Perfecto. Perfect. 
Almost successfully cut, guys. Yay! I'm very excited. It was a little bit uh, hard a little bit earlier because, huh? What happened? We can't chat with me. Hello. It is fine right now. Oh, the message said you can't try chat hope it's okay now you guys can chat you can say hello be sure to place your name in the chat box if you guys are new to my channel i'm rose and um designing making clothes and i'm making elsa dress right now elsa costume and i'm almost finished cutting When I finish this cutting, then uh, I'm gonna sew them together. I'm really excited, guys. So cute. Little girl gonna love this dress. I have to be honest, I made this dress for all your girls. So this is more pieces coming up. As much as I like the embroidery part, but I'm afraid my sewing machine can't handle that. I'm a little nervous, but we'll see. Did you see my costume video? Then you know I did it. But if you don't, it's like gonna be like screwed up along the way somehow. This uh, home sewing machine thing is scary sometimes when it comes to so any uh, thick fabric. It's screaming at me. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I 
actually. So this is gonna be sleeve. No, now I do not have a bag with this uh, lace on. Too bad. Oh wait, what if? <gasps> sleeve this way. Yes. Then I can use that for for the bottom hem. Yay. But what about here? Oh gosh. I can't really use this for the top. It's not enough. Oh, I can put rose on it. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Sleeve, gonna go this way, baby. And then I'm gonna use the other part for the bag off the bottom. Yes, but just fine. Awesome, I'm glad this just right. With a little bit of thinking, make this possible, guys. I'm really excited. It was like a I tried to put all the like uh, embroidery part on certain area that it's supposed to be. It's kind of hard because again, this fabric is like I got it from a secondhand store, and that's all they got. It's like a drapes, guys. So then I turned that into Elsa dress. It was like the price was so good, and plus I thought, uh, I want to share this dress with the little girls and you guys of course so i'm gonna cut the sleeve and i will sew together this embroidered to make it like so pretty Like barely, barely enough. Sleeves almost actually. So we're going to take it that one. on the back of the dress. Sew this on top of the dress. Then, this is what I need. I'm gonna cut this. What time is it? Five o'clock. Yeah, I will cut this again tomorrow. Hey, bye everyone. Thank you guys for your support. I most likely continue tomorrow. But I'm going to be done for now. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Ted. Bye-bye.